inviting you to come into your body just as it is right now. Arriving here, bringing your awareness to the body, the breathing body. And just taking a moment to bring your attention to the weight of the body on the earth. Imagine if you could for a moment that you're being supported by the earth, resting on the earth, whether you're sitting on a chair or on a cushion or a couch or wherever you are, that you could feel the earth beneath you and the support of the earth, bringing your awareness, the field available to the body resting on the earth. And then during the meditation, it's often helpful to find an anchor for your attention. For some people that anchor might be the body, whether it's feeling the body resting on the earth or the hands touching each other, wherever it's useful and easy for you to rest your awareness. For others, it's the breath in the body wherever you feel the breath most easily, the breathing body, feeling the rise and fall of the breath in the belly, or the expansion of the lungs, or perhaps the breath at the nostrils, wherever it's easiest for you, allowing your mindfulness to rest on the flow of the breath in the body. And during our meditation, we may find that we get distracted thoughts, stories, and this touchstone, this home base in the body, whether it's the breath or the body, can help us in feeling grounded at home. And as we arrive here, we arrive with all of our habits and tendencies of the body. So you might want to take a moment to check in with the body and invite any tension to be released. We'll do a short scan of the body, inviting our body into both a alert and relaxed. As we invite ourselves to be alert and relaxed, we can invite mindfulness into this moment. Beginning with your awareness at the top of the head. Just noticing if there might be any tension in the area around the eyes. Inviting the eyes to soften, relax, let go. 
Sometimes it can be helpful to imagine the letting go happening on the exhale. Just inviting the eyes to relax and let go. And feeling into the area around the mouth and the jaw. Inviting any extra tension there to relax and let go. Noticing if you're holding tension in your jaw. Inviting the jaw to relax, to release. And then bringing your awareness to the neck. Inviting the neck to relax, releasing any extra tension, the area of the neck. Not needing to make it a certain way, just a gentle invitation to relax and let go. this invitation to care. And then allowing your awareness to travel to the shoulders. Perhaps imagining that you could breathe in and out through the neck and the shoulder area. And on the exhale, the gentle, Invitation to let go of any tension in the area around the shoulders. And then bringing into your awareness, if it's possible, your arms, the right arm and the left arm. all the way down to the fingertips. Inviting relaxation into your arms. Noticing if perhaps there's any habit tendencies of holding your hands or your wrists, your shoulders, your elbows. Inviting a letting go. And then bringing your attention to your torso. You might want to start by imagining that your breath is going up and down your spinal column. It's feeling the alertness from the base of your spine all the way up your spine. the base of your neck, relaxing all the muscles along your spine. A gentle invitation to connect with the body and the breath in your torso.
And then inviting the rest of your torso into your awareness. Inviting any relaxation and letting go of any extra tension you may be holding. Inviting and allowing as you turn your attention to yourself. A caring, And then allowing your awareness to be drawn to the area of the hips. The pelvis. Inviting relaxation, the hip joints, letting go. And then allowing the mindfulness to travel to the legs. Inviting relaxation, any tension. In the thighs, in the knees. The lower legs. And continuing to include your ankles and your awareness and your feet. Inviting relaxation, letting go, connecting the breath with the body, the body with the breath. in this field of mindfulness, of awareness. Using this moment to cultivate a kind attention towards ourselves. Just settling into this moment, the cultivation of stillness. Allowing yourself to be aware of any calm that's arisen. Not needing to make it so, but if there are moments Paying attention to the sensation of stillness, of calm. And this intention to cultivate care.
with our meditation practice. As we return again and again, we're cultivating patience. With each time that we come back, we're cultivating kindness towards ourselves. And resilience, fortitude. There may be voices of judging and stories that arise from the habit tendencies of mind. Just noticing them. And inviting them to, to let go. Not needing to pay attention to the stories at this moment in time. Returning to the body. Anchor in the body. The touchstone, home base. As part of our meditation practice, we can intentionally cultivate compassion. This capacity of the heart to care when suffering occurs. So often in our lives, There can be a tendency to turn away from suffering, either either our own or someone else's. In this practice of compassion, we're cultivating a heart, we're cultivating the tenderness and the capacity of mindfulness that we can call loving awareness. This ability to turn towards, not with the need to fix it, to make it better. But with the recognition that to be human means to experience challenges, suffering, obstacles. Not in a way that we need to make them bigger but just to remember that we've all experienced challenges. We've all experienced hardships. And in this practice, you may find it helpful to develop compassion by synchronizing your breathing with this intention towards cultivating compassion. On the inhale, wishing caring and kindness towards yourself. And then the exhale, letting go and accepting the way things are. Breathing in, knowing that T 
to be human means to experience hardships, breathing out, letting go. By cultivating this capacity of the heart for compassion helps us to live with an open heart to meet ourselves with acceptance and not animosity. And by coming close to ourselves, through our practice, we can learn to cultivate the act of care For some people, it's hard to develop this aspect of care for ourselves. No problem. If you experience that, you may want to imagine a small child feeling the tenderness for that child. Perhaps that child is you or thinking of a kitten or a puppy and just the tenderness of heart that we can feel for children, our pets, that capacity to care that we can cultivate. And breathing in, offering ourselves that care, that kindness. And breathing out, just letting go, not needing to make it a certain way, but just allowing ourselves to be just as we are in this moment. Breathing in, offering kindness to the challenges that we may be facing right now in our lives. Some small difficulties, some larger aspects of society. Compassion is sometimes thought of as the quivering of the heart, this responsive nature of our heart, just feeling into the capacity of our hearts to feel with. And knowing at some points that we may not feel anything and for good reason, there may be many reasons during our lives that we've had to turn away to guard our hearts. And that too may happen during the meditation. No problem. Offering care and kindness to all parts of ourselves. No part left out. Noticing, can we meet even those parts of us? The parts that are guarded or numb. Can we meet that part with kindness as well? And offer compassion and caring to all parts of ourselves.
feeling the gentle connection of the body and the breath in this field of loving awareness that we've cultivated. And then just imagining that our intentions for care that we may have brought with us this evening for our practice are like a pebble dropped in a pond that can ripple out in all directions. So that as we develop this capacity to care for ourselves and to meet our own challenges with kindness and compassion, that that capacity can ripple out and meet everyone else bringing to mind first this community that's gathered tonight together, imagining that our intentions for care and kindness could ripple out to all others who have come this evening to join us. And then knowing that each one of the people who is here tonight is connected to a network friends and family and community members. <clears throat> that the ripples of care and kindness reaching out even further, stretching out in circles, touching all those who we're connected to. Remembering that so many people in our families, in our communities, have also experienced hardship and struggles. And this capacity of the heart to care, to feel with, to have compassion, can be supportive for them too. And imagining that those ripples could go even further, endlessly rippling in all directions. To the north, to the east, to the west and the south, downwards to the earth and upwards to the sky outward and unbounded in all directions. Not needing to make anything a certain way, just feeling this interconnectedness of ourselves and all beings on the planet and the planet itself. And how we are connected to each other in this circle of care. 